This is our three bedrooms attached property on Westfield Park. So I'm going to take you down the bottom first to the gates. So we've got what gates in and the drive. I think you've got enough parking here for at least five or six vehicles. It's quite substantial. As you can see, you've got a big hedge there and you've got enclosure fencing. And we're going to be heading in. So I'm going to take you right first into the lounge because this has got an absolutely fantastic walkthrough. Um, so we're heading into the lounge and we're on the right hand side. The lounge, as you can see, is to the front and you have got glazed doors there. So you've got natural light. And I'm just going to spin around and then show you this beautiful kitchen and sunroom. So that's the lounge and we're heading into this, which is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. So here's the kitchen. Obviously tiling on the floor. As you can see, the sun often shines around here. So if you're partial of a glass of wine in the garden, this is a property for you or gin and tonic ladies. But you really do need to get down and see this one. Beautiful. Natural light. So basically lounge to kitchen to diner to alfresco. As the Italians say, ottimo. Beautiful. I've left these doors open, obviously on the picture they're closed, but you can just see they're straight out. Rear garden, enclosure fenced, and again, you've got the hedge, so you've got a lot of privacy. Beautiful. I'm gonna try and avoid the reflection of the ugly guy in the window there, because you've come to see the property, not me. There we are. Beautiful. Natural light. Sun's not out at the minute, but if it was, you can imagine just being out here, couldn't you? There we are. I'm gonna take you through the kitchen. And again, we've got that all important alfresco. For your alfresco evenings, the downstairs WC. So you don't have to have your friends trooping up and down the stairs. Nicely done. You've then got your utility with a door to the side. Got a nice big American fridge in there. Plenty of space to put the wine. And then we've got a breaker room, restroom, family room. Another reception room, whatever you want to use it as. You could even have it as a playroom for the children. Absolutely fantastic. So we're heading back through and I'm going to take you up the stairs now. And we're going to the master first. Which is on the left. Now this is beautiful. So I've just turned left there, as you can see, it runs the full length of the house. You've got sliding wardrobes there, you've got sliding wardrobes on the other side, and you've also got a dressing area at the end where you can get a dressing table in. Beautiful. You'll of course have a fight with your te teenage children who's going to have this one, but um, I suspect that the parents are going to have this all, all the time. Beautiful. So we're heading out now and we're going to be turning left into the bathroom. Again, there's a few mirrors in here, so I'm going to try and avoid the ugly guy in the mirror. But it's a beautiful room. 
As you can see by the pictures, you've got a show on the corner, sink, loo, and you've obviously got a quadrant shower cubicle with an electric shower, and then you've got a freestanding bath. Floors tiled, so there's the walls, so it's, um, it's beautifully done, again, really nice. So I'm going to take you into bedroom, I would say probably three, because it is the smaller of the two. This one is to the rear of the property, as you can see, but it's still a nice size room. Get the children in here, no problem. Come back to the left and then we're into bedroom number two which is a really good size double nice size room again gonna try and avoid the ugly guy in the mirror there we are really really good size bedroom number two and then I'll think I'll finish off just back at the bathroom. Beautiful.